you have two characters that are going to be interacting with each other. So this is an instance where it kind of forced me to be a little bit smarter on how I approached an animation like this. And for something like this, it ended up actually being really kind of a simple process. So to do this, I just created like a pose where they've got their arms around each other. So a pose like this, any one of these poses. So I kind of started with like a deep, what's this sort of like default, like arms around the shoulders pose. So I built that. And then all I did was just added like a locator right in the, in the middle of both of them. And then I constrained both control rigs, both character rigs to that single locator. And then I just animated the locator moving through space, bouncing up and down in the way that I wanted it to. And then I would start layering on the detail. So even though this is not like the most beautiful animation, right? It needs a ton of polish, um, but it was something that ended up being like really simple to get the performance that we needed to cross. And it really just came down to animating one single locator and then layering on the detail to each character to kind of get the get the feeling that you want. But this is something, this is the kind of stuff that working in TV, it kind of forces you to think a little bit smarter on how you approach your animation because you don't have the luxury of having a ton of time to animate it the way you might in the past. So finding like little shortcuts that you can use to really speed up the process is something that I found really helpful when working in television.